Hey everyone out there, welcome to another video. My name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortnite instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide, and I record these videos for the people who take my class. And uh, last week, actually this week, at the end of this week, uh, I was teaching Forty Manager, Forty Analyzer for the first time in 6.2 to a, a bunch of... Uh, uh, to a bunch of participants in my class, and I busted out my GNS3 thinking I was all awesome, started dragging and dropping these these machines for review, and I kept on getting connection errors, okay? So this started using the free VMs around 6.2, all right? So if you are rocking the VMs for GNS3, the KVM deployments, and I'm pretty sure this is true for the uh, the other hypervisors, uh, with 6.2, when you try to join those FortiGate 6.2s to the Forti Analyzer, Forti Manager 6.2s, you're going to get some errors. So um, it didn't happen with the with the uh, earlier versions. So 6.0 and down worked just fine. And it seems to be a problem with 6.2 and up. And I, I promise you, the reason why is because to keep people from using the trial VMs, the ones that you can download from the support websites and then import them in. And then once they boot up, you get 15 days. They keep the cryptos low, the, crypt, the encryption keys low, so you won't use them in production. And that's fair enough, okay? But it breaks the Forda Manager um, management tunnels and it also breaks the OFTP SSL negotiation. So let's take a look at what that's all about. So these are two forty gate uh two forty analyzer managers that are out of the box. I've just configured IP addresses on them and access in the subnets. And then from there, we have uh, a couple of forty gates here. I'm gonna ignore those actually. This local forty gate here is is set up on the same subnet and the whole idea is to bring them into the forty manager bring them into the forty analyzer so we can test them out and that's the whole goal of having this test environment so we can have an environment that we can play around with without worrying about breaking stuff and like i said 6.0 and below work just fine out of the box but now look what happens so let's go to our management pc here all right i'm going to log into my forty manager all right, should be admin, no password. Oh, I did change the password. Okay, there we go, no big deal. And uh, we should be able to bring in that local FortiGate just fine. All right, let's see what happens. Are right, you guys ready? So let's go to Device Manager. And just like we learned in the NSC5 class, we're going to discover that using the Add Device Wizard. So here we go. So we'll go ahead and add a FortiGate. Oh, it's not working. Hey, if that ever happens, by the way, in these test environments, like you can't click this bar here, do a control zoom out. Yeah, seriously, that's all it takes to get it to, to work. I have no idea why. All right, here we go. So we're going to say discover IP address is going to be 10. Dot, uh, 0 0.1.254. That's the IP address I put on the, the FortiGate. And it also has the FGFM management um, access turned on the interface too. All right. Admin, no password. I'm pretty sure I don't have a password on that bad boy. Uh, let me double check that real quick. Here we go. Admin. Okay. There's no password. Okay. Just double. That'd have been bad. All right. Here we go. So we hit next. And then it goes out there, and then we get this probe failed, all right? Now, if it can't reach out and find the device due to a network problem, meaning routing or what have you, or it doesn't live on the right subnet, whatever, it'll say network error. But a probe error, I'm like, what? What's going on there, right? Um, also, look what happens when we go onto the local... FortiGate. So let me go on to the local FortiGate and then try it the other direction, but this time with the Forti Analyzer. All right. Here we go. So I want to use that Forti Analyzer for, you know, log aggregation. La 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 la. I, okay, sure. This thing did a did a shutdown on me without it being graceful. All right, barking at me. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna load up. We're gonna go to our security fabric. We're gonna go to our settings, and then we're going to go to. Here we go. 
for the analyzer logging. And as you can see, I have the IP address in there because I was, I was obviously trying to do this for class. All right, I'm gonna hit test connectivity and we get an SSL error. You're like, what? SSL error? What's going on here? So guys, like I said, this only started affecting once the 40 analyzer and 40 manager made the jump from 6.0 to 6.2. So uh, if you take the, the classes, we learn that the Ford Analyzer and the Ford Manager actually have to have the same level of SSL encryption or lower than the FortiGates, and that's just how it works. Obviously, they are not, so because those FortiGates are the free VMs, and those FortiGate free VMs are using very low encryptions because it's not supposed to be used in the network. But we never had a problem up to here. So how the flip do we? Do we fix this? Okay. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I know I got really frustrated about it because it worked for years here. So um, I'll make sure to put the documentation um, up there on the board. Okay. So um, meaning on my um, what you call it in the little video link here where I found the documentation to fix this. But uh, essentially what we have to do here is first go to the, we'll fix the Forda Manager side. All right, so we'll go into the Forda Manager and let me go ahead and change the, uh, change the settings here to make it a little bit more visible. All right. All right, just so you guys can see the syntax there. Okay, so let me log in. And we have to do a couple of them to, to get this thing to, to work. So, um, and there might be more, it's just as it, as it stands right now, these are the two that really fixed and really, really take home. So, um, anyway, so here we go. Are you guys ready? So we're going to do a uh, config sysglobal, all right? And then there is a option here to set low encryption. So let's just do a set SSL low encryption. All right. And we're going to enable to say, yes, you are able to select the lower grade encryptions. Now that might be turned on by default, especially on some uh, models that might be might be smaller or what have you. We're just doing here to fix the VMs for our lab environment, okay? And now we have to tell it to use the lower tunnel version for the FortiGate Forti Manager management tunnel, and that is set, uh, set FGFM SSL protocol. And as you can see, the different versions that are supported, we're gonna go low, all right? So like I said, normally, we wouldn't do this in production. This is for our test environments and only the free VMs in GNS3 or Hyper-V or VM or a VMware or whatever. So there we go. And then we do an end, okay? And now it's committed. And now that should be enough to make the Ford manager work. Well, let's go ahead and test it, okay? So um, let's go back to our management PC now and let's go to our Ford manager, all right? And let's go ahead and um, add the device. So here we go. We'll do a discover. We'll say 10.0.1.254. We'll say admin, no password. And instead of getting an I or a probe failure, look at that. We got the FortiGate. And you should be able to use it now like normal for practice up to 15 days, okay? That does not solve the problem with the Ford Analyzer, though. The Ford Analyzer will still be broken, but at least we got the Ford Manager fixed. So to fix the Ford Analyzer, we have to do the same thing, all right, but a little bit different command. So let me go ahead and double click on the Ford Analyzer, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and do an admin and uh, log in here. Okay, and I'll uh, once again blow these settings up so you guys can see it on the screen here. All right, here we go. Sorry about this. Okay. And now we're, we're going to do a config sysglobal. All right. And then we're going to once again set the SSL low encryption to enable. And that's probably on by default, but whatever. It's cool. Just double checking ourselves. And then it's set OFTP SSL protocol. So this is the SSL protocol that's going to be used 
between the Forti gates and the Forti analyzer for log aggregation. All right, so um, yeah, so see how that's different than the Forti manager, Forti gate protocol. So with that being said, guys, if you turn on the Forti analyzer features on the Forti manager. I'm 100% sure that you're going to have to do this identical command also on the Forti Manager that's acting as the Forti Analyzer. But once we do that, once we commit, not with capitalizations, but once we commit, all right, it just resets, by the way, to make sure, make sure there's no tunnels up beforehand, all right? We're going to go ahead and uh, now go back to our local FortiGate. Not our local FortiGate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our FortiGate here. We're going to hit test. And now, instead of getting an SSL error, we get a, hey, this FortiGate is not authorized for logging. See how that is different than the one that we had before. All right. So in other words, it's finding it. So now, with confidence, we should be able to go to the Forti Analyzer, IP address, login, this site cannot it refuse the connection. I thought I'd use uh, Opera to be different. All right, here we go. It's not doing the redirect for HTTPS traffic. Help me understand. Okay, sure. I totally understand. This is totally not secure. No, it is secure. It's just a self-signed cert. Okay, moving on. Talking to myself. All right, here we go. Admin, log in, and now we should have a pending device. Pending registration for logs, I mean. So here we go. All right, beautiful. That's what we want. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> All right, here we go. To, 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 to today. By the way, this throws me off so badly if you guys are used to the older versions. I'm used to see the, the management pane right here that has all the devices. Here we have to go up here to look at the unauthorized devices. Throws me off every time. Anyways, here we go. We're going to say this. And we'll say authorized. Bam. And now, and now it's in. So um, so there you guys go. So if you're using the 40 manager, 40 analyzer in um, GNS3 or any kind of hypervisor, right? 6.2, those are the steps you're going to have to take to make it work with the free VMs. All right. I'm pretty sure if you're using licensed 40 gates in your test environment, it shouldn't be a problem because the encrypto should be. Um, beefier on the FortiGate side than on the Forti Analyzer, Forti Manager side, you shouldn't get that error. But once again, um, if you're using the free VMs all around to practice, starting with 6.2, those are the steps you have to do to fix it. So, all right, guys, I hope that helps someone out there. All right. And uh, I do have more videos coming up here for a couple of people that have requested them. Um, and I thank everyone for watching, and I hope someone found that helpful. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Thank <laughs> you.